Lionel Messi spent over $600 million, million dollar cars, $10 million mansions, his own $200 million theme park. Here's 10 things Messi owns that cost more in your life. And first up, Messi can't just have a normal iPhone. His was completely customized. Not only is his name, jersey number, and team logo etched onto the phone, the entire thing is covered in solid gold. Just think, a normal iPhone XS costs around $1,000, but Messi's is worth $21,000. And that's literally the cheapest thing in this video. So let's move up to something that costs millions. Messi's jewelry, $25,000 APs, $45,000 Rolexes, $100,000 Hublots and Paddocks? Messi's known to love exclusive watches, but none of those compared to his rarest ones. With a price tag of $150,000, this special edition Messi watch is flooded with 141 carats of diamonds, rubies, and sapphires. But even 150 k ain't close to Messi's quarter million dollar masterpiece. This watch is covered in 104 baguette diamonds, rose gold, and is one of the only watches in the world that can tell the time, date, and city you're in. But Messi's most expensive watch is one that not even money can buy. Right after he set one of football's most legendary records, winning his seventh Ballon d'Or, Purnell watches decide to make Messi something one of one. This is a rose gold Purnell Ballon d'Or 2021, and Messi's the only person on the planet to own the original. The watch became so popular, Purnell eventually made eight replica versions and priced them at $350,000 each. But since Messi's watch is one of a kind, it's worth more than all of those watches combined. And 2.8 million is still nothing compared to the weirdest $5 million purchase I've ever seen. Right after Messi scored 91 goals during his record-breaking year, one of Tokyo's most famous jewelers knew Messi's foot was special. So the jeweler wanted to create something unique for Messi that only a multi-millionaire could own. And he flew to Spain just to have Messi design it with him. Yeah, Messi really got an exact replica of his foot. Not only is it made out of pure gold, it's signed by the GOAT himself. Talk about Messi's $35 million purchase that almost got stolen by Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi's car collection started out with Range Rovers, Escalades, and Chargers. But once he started making millions, he took things to a whole new level. $150,000 Audi R8s. $200,000 Maserati GTs, $300,000 Ferraris, and a $600,000 Mercedes SLS? That right there is over a million dollars just on cars. And yet, that can't even compare to his most expensive wheels. Recently, Messi bought one of the rarest cars in the world, but it didn't just cost him millions. It's literally illegal. Yeah, Messi's really pulling up like this. I don't know what he was thinking when he bought a car that can go 230 miles an hour. Cause this Pagani is so fast, just driving it down the street is illegal. Now wasting two million dollars, Messi doesn't care about that. He makes over a million every single week. And that's what led him to buying the most expensive car in his collection. But the 30 million dollar price tag isn't even the crazy part. Cause Messi almost got it stolen by Cristiano Ronaldo. See, when Messi heard his dream car was finally up for sale, he immediately hopped on a first class flight and headed to Paris for the car's auction. But it turned out, Ronaldo knew how badly Messi wanted the car and offered to buy it before Messi landed. But since everybody knew Messi was on his way, they waited. And right when Messi showed up, he placed a bid that not even Ronaldo could compete with. $35 million for a 1957 Ferrari Spider. This car, along with all of Messi's other cars, are some of his most prized possessions. And now you'll see why he spent even more money on places to park them. $5 million condos, $10 million mansions, a $44 million castle. Messi's homes cost over $60 million. But first, let's pull up to his Miami condo that's got its own car elevator. When Messi visits Florida, he stays here at the Porsche Tower, a place where your car is literally the key. Just scan it and a car elevator carries you into your living room. Messi's crib came with two bedrooms, five bathrooms, marble floors and countertops, its own bar, floor to ceiling windows, and just look at the views, man. The city, the beach, no wonder why this place cost Messi $5 million. But still, this is Messi's cheapest home. It turns out Messi loves Florida so much, he bought a more expensive place right down the street. But this time, he didn't just buy one condo. 
He bought the entire floor. Messi's crib at the regalia is on another level. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a thousand bottle wine cellar, a movie theater. This place even comes with a spa, hot tub, fitness center, and six pools. Since Messi's apartment takes up an entire floor, he got a little bonus for spending over $7 million. A full 360 degree view of the Miami skyline. Just look at this. But being in a place like Florida, do you think Messi spent all that money just to look at the water? Nah, he splashed double that to be out there. Messi's $14 million yacht is the most expensive boat that any football player owns. This 92 foot long Mayora 7C yacht has four bedrooms, a VIP room, and can go over 25 miles an hour. No wonder why Messi's family's always spotted on it. This thing's damn near a house on the water. But speaking of houses, Messi's mansions are on a whole other level of expensive. And since they're on the other side of the planet, he can't just take his $14 million yacht there. So that's why he spent even more on this. Yeah, Messi's $15 million private jet is exclusive. On the inside, it has a full kitchen, two bathrooms, 16 seats, TVs. And on the outside, Messi made sure you know it's his jet. Not only is it personalized with his iconic number 10, on the steps, it spells out everything important to him. His name, his wife's name, all of his kids' names, and what the? Subscribe to Kickflix? Yeah, even Messi subscribe. So ain't you trying to be like Messi? What are you doing, man? Subscribe. Uh, anyways, flying from country to country is cool and all, but now that we're landing in Barcelona, we gotta take a car to Messi's mansion. Cause his crib is so expensive, the president banned planes from flying over it. Yeah, here's Messi's first house. And after he bought it for $2 million, he spent another $8 million on renovations, just to make sure the place had everything he'd need to become a GOAT. Inside, Messi's got an entire floor dedicated to his personal gym. It's filled with treadmills, benches, dumbbells, a room for playing basketball, and an entire wall commemorating Muhammad Ali. He even has a view of the mountains when he's working out. But on the outside of this house is where things actually get insane. Messi's got an entire football pitch in his backyard. And whenever he ain't trained to be one of the best in the world, he can cool off in his pool. Messi's $10 million mansion is definitely something special. But here in 2022, Messi's upgrade is quadruple the price. Ever since Messi's transfer to PSG, he's needed a place in Paris. And now, he finally found his dream home. A $44 million castle filled with 30 rooms, a movie theater, a racquetball room, its own parking garage, and one of the most insane indoor swimming pools in the world. Messi's new crib adds up his house collection to over $66 million. And yet, that's not even in Messi's top three most expensive purchases. Because Messi bought something so valuable, only billionaires could afford it. Now being an owner of the MIM hotel chain, Messi's helped expand this company all over the globe. His first purchase was a $30 million 77 room beach hotel with its own rooftop bar and pool. Next, he bought a 52 room hotel in Ibiza with some of the best views in the entire country. And in the pool area, Messi installed an underwater DJ set. But those are just two of the six hotels Messi owns. He's also got one on the island of Mallorca, another in Costa del Sol, and one hotel is right next to the biggest ski resort in all of Spain. Messi's Spanish hotel has 141 rooms, including indoor pools, a spa, and a full gym. It even has a ski lift that takes you to the highest peaks of the mountains. With all of his hotels combined, he spent over $180 million. And yet, Messi loves his fans so much, he spent even more money just so you can live his life. Recently, Messi made history with one of the most expensive purchases of any athlete ever, the Messi Experience Park. This $200 million theme park is designed for fans to relive Messi's rise to fame. The theme park has over 46,000 square feet of entertainment, including theaters, holographic technology, and virtual reality. But that's just the beginning. Messi's vision for his park includes hotels, roller coasters, a football pitch, and a bullet train that takes you directly to Shanghai. Messi's the only footballer ever to have his own theme park. And that's why it cost him over $200 million. But let's be real, nothing actually costs more than a life. Except Messi's biggest purchase ever. 
Messi knows what it's like to come from nothing, so he's giving all kids a chance at accomplishing their dreams. For nearly 15 years, he's been funding what's called the Leo Messi Foundation, an organization that provides educational opportunities for kids in poverty. But Messi's foundation isn't just about education, it's about saving lives. So that's why a large portion of his investments go towards medical research in hospitals for kids with terminal illnesses. Messi doesn't just look at kids as fans. He genuinely wants to inspire and help as many people as possible. So right after Messi scored his 644th goal for Barcelona, Messi auctioned off his game-worn cleats for over $100,000 and donated all the proceeds to charity. Messi's been donating money for years. He's even gone as far as sending $300,000 to over 2,000 families in Kenya just so they had access to food and water. He's even teamed up with David Beckham to help rebuild communities that were struck by natural disasters. And most recently, Messi's known how devastating the world got hit by the pandemic. So he gave away nearly $2 million to health centers for COVID relief. Messi doesn't have many football years left and he doesn't want that to be the only thing he's remembered for. So next time you see him out there on the pitch, just know he ain't playing football for himself. He's doing it for you. But hey, if Messi's been buying all of that, just imagine what Neymar's been doing. Diamond cleats, mantis you can land helicopters on, cars straight out of Fast and Furious, and I know you wanna hear more about that, so just click this video right here.